Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be vegan for a day and I've wanted to do this video for a really long time, but since we're in quarantine, I can't go to the grocery store and get specific ingredients, so I had to use everything that I had at home. If you see anything in this video that's not vegan, that means Google lied to me because I would look up each ingredient before using it. I'm going to be having breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks throughout the day, and each time I try something, I'm going to be rating it out of 5 stars. So without further ado, let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I used, and then I blended my oats so they can become like flour, and then I mixed all the ingredients together, and I put oil on my pan so the pancakes wouldn't stick to it. Okay, so I flipped my pancake, but it kind of fell apart, so I probably needed to wait longer to flip it. So I'm going to do that on my next pancake. I have my pancakes here. I made four of them. And I'm going to cut a banana and like put it on the side of my pancakes. And I'm kind of scared. I did burn them because I like my pancakes cooked really good. Okay, now I'm going to use some maple syrup. I looked it up and they said this maple syrup was a vegan. So here they are. I just have my bananas my maple syrup, and then my four pancakes. So now I'm going to eat this. My breakfast, a four out of five stars. So I lost the clip saying why I gave them four out of five stars, but basically I gave it that rating because they were good pancakes, but they weren't the best that I've had. And I just like boxed pancakes better, they're faster, and personally I think they taste better. So that's why I gave it that rating. Having a banana, and Oreos as a snack. So for snacks, I had two bananas, and I rate that five stars just because I love bananas. And I had four Oreos, and I rate that a 3.5 out of five stars just because I can't eat so many Oreos because then my stomach starts hurting. I think they're like too sweet or something. So to cook the quinoa, I had to boil it for 10 minutes, and then I showed you guys that I'm using garlic salt and crushed red peppers to season it. Some quinoa in this bowl and some corn in this bowl, and I'm going to put some seasoning in both of those in here. In this next clip, I'm mixing the quinoa and the corn with the seasoning that I showed you guys earlier, and I'm going to drink this Starbucks Berry Refresher. The quinoa and the corn with the Starbucks Refresher. I rate that a 5 out of 5 stars because I didn't know the Starbucks refresher was vegan, but I looked it up and it said it was. So I usually drink that anyways. It's like the little packet ones. And I rate that 5 out of 5 stars just because I already like it. So it was nothing new. And the quinoa I've had once and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But the way I made it this time, I liked it a lot more. So I give that 5 out of 5 stars as well. I know it says lunch after dinner, but let's just ignore that. And I just used these fruits and some almond milk, and then I blended that. And I didn't have any honey substitutes, so I just didn't use honey at all. And then I just put that in my coconut bowl and added toppings to it. And that's it for this. My smoothie bowl, and I'm going to top it off with banana and chia seeds. So this is the finished product, and now I'm going to go eat this. And I'm probably going to give this a high rating because I usually eat these all the time. So Smoothie bowl, yeah. I give a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It tasted like it was missing something and I'm pretty sure that's the honey. And I know there is like substitutes for honey, but I couldn't go to the grocery store and get them. So that's why it's getting a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Okay, so it's a lot later now. And that's because I was very busy today. I actually filmed two videos in one day, which is something I never do. Well, this video, eating vegan for one day, is going to upload today, and my video for tomorrow is, I'm not going to say it. you guys are going to have to wait till tomorrow to see that, but I finished eating like a vegan for a day, and my opinion is I really liked it, but I don't think I'd ever go vegan, just because, one, my family's not vegan, so it'd be kind of hard to become vegan since, like, 
they buy groceries and I don't so that's one reason another reason is I love chicken so <laughs> I don't think I could be vegan but overall I think this was a really fun experience and I really enjoyed eating the foods that I ate even though I couldn't go outside and get specific groceries but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon bye